This past Sunday, Catherine Switzer took the opportunity to thank town officials, police, fire, community members, and the numerous others who helped her have a great experience during last April's Boston Marathon. But what you did for this community was to bring awareness across the board to, to the entire community. And we're thankful for that. But uh, it really is a privilege to have with us this morning, uh, I, I now refer to her as KV Switzer, um, uh, a, a friend uh, in, a, in a person who is, uh, is really someone who knows how to motivate people. So it's, thanks for being here, Cal. <laughs> Thank you so much. I find myself amazingly emotional um, because um, this was one of the most profound experiences of my life. Um, I think crossing the finish line of Boston Marathon 2017, um, and I'd say this in front of my husband, who is the love of my life, but I think that was the happiest day of my life. Um, it's, I truly believe that. Um, and it, it was about the fulfillment of 50 years. It was about passing the torch. Uh, and I mostly am going to direct my remarks to the young people today, but first let me let me thank the whole town of Hopkinton. Let me thank every one of you, John Catino and your whole group, and Dottie and Claire and, 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 and Jean. I mean, all of you guys have been uh, unbelievable for me um, to, to turn out your, your homes and your, your resources. Um, Dottie and I and Claire on the starting platform, because they don't know this story, they haven't seen me since I you know, ran off down the street. Um, it, you know, on the platform, uh, uh, they knew I was a very nervous lady, um, presenting me with a wonderful award. Um, the chief of police taking my hand and escorting me through the crowd so that I could get over to Pete Talman's house in time um, to, to be with my team to do the start of the race. Um, everybody turning out incredible resources for me. Um, I can't thank you enough for that welcome, um, and I cannot thank you enough for getting me to the start line and, and therefore pushing me down the street and getting me to the finish line. You know, this was such a wonderful day for me. It was saying thank you to the town of Hopkinton for everything they did, not only for my 50th anniversary run in 2017, but all the 50 years before of creating history and being there for us women and helping create a social revolution. Who would have ever imagined it? And how'd your uh, 50th anniversary run go? I'll tell you, it was the happiest day of my life. When I got to that start line, I'll tell you, my legs felt like overcooked spaghetti. I was very, very nervous with all the media and all the tension and a lot of pressure. But Hopkinton made me feel so welcome, holding my hand even on the uh, starting line, getting me uh, to a good staging area, walking me through the crowd. And really, just a sense of support from them was everything. When I crossed the finish line, it was effectively like not only saying thank you to Hopkinton and all those towns in Boston, but passing the torch to the next generation. And here in Hopkinton, we had a wonderful time talking to these young people of all ages and reminding them that they can make history too and that they should create opportunities for themselves and for everyone to pass on everything they've learned from running and from that sense of empowerment. And, um, and let me read, read what I said to you here. I said, to Pete Talman with heartfelt thanks for giving us this beautiful house so we could begin our 50th anniversary Boston Marathon together. Your kindness, generosity, and spirit gave us belief and fearlessness. With love, me and Team 261 Fearless, Boston 2017. Catherine also went for a jog with some community members and some of the Hillers cross country team. Who would have ever believed that my old bib number has suddenly become a number meaning fearless in the face of adversity? That's where the, this is the number the official tried to pull off of me uh, and throw me out of the race. And since then, it has become a wonderful foundation, a nonprofit that's using the vehicle of running around the world to empower women. What was fun today was to show the young people in particular how this bib number has gone on to have a ripple effect around the world. Here's the pictures of the official trying to throw me out of the race. 
I put descriptors on each of these so that the young people would know this history. And then, who would have ever imagined, look at this, crossing the finish line 50 years later, who's there to, to welcome me? My husband, but also Joanne Flaminio, the first woman president of the Boston Athletic Association in 125 years. And so what this story resonates with these young people is sometimes the worst things in your life can become the best things in your life, but also that they are in the position now of taking this the next 50 years forward, creating opportunities for women and boys and girls around the world.